this one seems more lighthearted anyway, Justice League. Like, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought that up, Allie, because that's the thing. I'm actually going to show the trailer right now if I can find that fucking thing. Anthony, I'm going to start off with you. What do you feel about this, man? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, uh, Ali was right. Like, it did seem a little bit tongue-in-cheek, a little bit more lighthearted and stuff like that. I don't know why they had... I, it's kind of weird because I'm like, I don't know why y'all hamming it up in the trailer that, yeah, Superman is still alive. We fucking know it, but they hamming it up really good. And something that was really odd to the trailer, it was just like, yeah, Superman. He all, Granted, I don't hate Man of Steel like everybody else does. I actually quite enjoyed it. But what they were saying about Superman in the trailer, just like, he always brought out the best in people. He always, like, saw the light. Man! Was a no, I'm like, I did not man. see that shit in Man. No, I oh, became a soul singer. Man! Like, man. They Clearly got, they were watching the old Superman movie. Exactly. Y'all yeah. wasn't talking about the animated Superman because y'all wasn't talking about Henry Cavill. <laughs> so mm. I'm like, what the fuck? That was kind of really strange how they was doing that in the trailer. But I guess they got to play it up and shit like that. And also... Allie, who's the villain in this movie? Because if that's Darkseid, he looks no, demon-like. It's, De it's Stefan Wolf. Yeah, uh, exactly. yeah, he's like a right hand of Darkseid. He's come a long way from that rock band. No. Yeah, they <laughs> can't, can they can't just whip it out yet. Here's the thing I gotta bring up really quick. I know people are gonna say, no, Josh, we just came in at the end. There's still things that haven't changed. But sure. can we please bring up one very glaring fucking issue with this. Um, this is a fucking video game. Not this part, but I'll show you right now when fucking Aquaman is in some there we go that shit what the fuck yeah what the time fuck? Nick, you would be freaking like on board for this no sweetheart i'm curious the whole part you loved it batman v superman was the whole doomsday fight that was all a video game but that lurk no the doomsday thing did not look as bad as that shit we just showed right now that fucking with the red why is everything red because it's dark is Magic? <laughs> Magic? Well, it, it depends. As Darkseid, like, oh, we don't know much about the movie, so <laughs> yeah, the we don't know if Darkseid's fucked the planet up, or we don't know if he's blocked out the planet. No, it could he, be. He, okay, you want an explanation that I think that's probably explain why everything's red? Is Superman comes back, but the uh, dark side ends up turning the sun red or blocking the sun out and making it red, so that Superman has no powers. No, I actually have a reason why it happened. When they start doing this fight, whatever, someone fucking pressed star and had an alternate fucking stage costume, whatever the fuck, before they started the fight. All right, you press square, you lock the fucking map, and that's why it looks sure. like that because that's clearly what the fuck it is. It's Mortal Kombat X all over it again. I'm fucking Anthony. This shit. Anyway, while well, Nick's having a nervous breakdown, I, uh, I, hate I, I don't think I that this to. looks as bad as Batman vs Superman was, or as terrible as Suicide Squad was, or the Oscar-winning Suicide Squad. Sorry. <laughs> I really think <clears throat> that this is not going to be as good as Wonder Woman because there's too many characters that they're introducing and they're not going to be able to de develop them well. And I think that there's a real clash of like all the bullshit that they set up with like now they're trying to take this lighthearted approach. And he it's said like, the it's same a... fucking thing about Wonder Woman, man. <laughs> Don't even. Well, they're really I mean, similar. Wonder That's the thing. Woman... Your exact words were: "These are three different movies raped together," <laughs> and it ended up being an incredible movie. Like I'm not saying it, this movie's going to be good, but give it enough of a chance to not at all. I, I wouldn't say that Wonder Woman was incredible, and that came together as something different. They advertised that as something that it wasn't really. Like it, yeah, it ended up I, being like. Again, a, I'm not saying this movie's gonna be, you know, an Academy Award winning movie like Suicide Squad, but <laughs> I'm watching it going, it, it could be something interesting. Like, I'm excited for this. It's something I've kind of always wanted to see, and I want to know how they're gonna do it. And they finally made Aquaman cool. That's something I've been wanting since I was a kid. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm mad because, like, you motherfuckers, and oh, Allie, you too, sweetheart. Oh my god, girl. You talk shit about DC. Marvel's great. What are you talking about? I've always been on the DC train. You have, but not with the movies. Not with the DC EU chocolate milk. Hey man, I'm not freaking. <laughs> I've been rooting for DC. Like even though I don't like like most of their movies, I still root root for them. Every single movie, I'm like, okay, I have hope. Wonder Woman was great. Hey, I got something to latch onto now. So I'm on the train. <laughs> and it, it always goes back to that thing that you say, Nick. It's just like, oh, you motherfuckers are just mad because they didn't do it like the comic book. They didn't do it like this. They didn't do it like this. It's just with the movies, DC has burnt them so many times. Not me personally, but just like the, the general audience, the mass populace. They've just got burned so many times. It's just like, why did you do this character like this? Why did you do this character like this? Why did you cr take this creative liberty? So after all of these movies, like them coming into this, it's just like we have a little bit of hope and optimism. Uh, like a little bit of like this optimism. <laughs> you better say optimist. Yeah, optimist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
the Transformers is in me, but it's like we have a little bit of it because what Wonder Woman did, and it's just like the first movie that's actually somewhat good. But at the same time, it's just like we don't we don't know where this is gonna fall. Like 50-50. Some things we like about it, some things we don't. Because at the very end of the trailer, it did have like a lot of good moments. He was just like like flash that moment where he was like, Hey, they just all disappeared. That's kind of rude, man. And then he just runs off. I love that shit. That's actually pretty fucking funny. Oh, and, I just and they're not being so um uh, like dark like they normally are, and it seems like they are trying to learn from Marvel just a little bit, just the pitch. And granted, with this movie, like granted, like no matter what, at the end of the day, comic book fans are still gonna be like, hey, granted, it's gonna be bad or good or whatever. But we still got a day and age where the Justice League is got to be on the fucking movie screen, like it's finally happening. Like no matter what, we still trying to have that overall excitement because it's just like holy shit. Batman, Superman, Cyborg, Flash, all these people are finally on the fucking big screen. And if it's going to fail or not, we're still just hoping for it. So it's just, I'm pulling for it, man. It's a lot of things that I see in the stream that's so just like, come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it, man. Yeah, you can do it. Like, cool. It's like the little train that could. You can go, man. You can do it, exactly. man. <laughs> so, Even though your tracks were fucked up for like the last two miles, you yeah. keep going. You <laughs> keep going. Hey, man, that's the underdog. <laughs> No, exactly. And, and just like what Anthony's saying too, he's like, you know, you're acting like you're its parent. Like, come on, you can do it, you can do it. But yeah, cool. you're leaving that fucking kid leave with like one tire on his bike. There's a car coming. The fucking tire's gonna crash. Hey, I'm fucking... you, I, I tell you, hey, man, that car's made by Stanley. We all know he can't drive for hey, shit. Rocky, Rocky lost the first fight he ever did, man, but he won the second one. I tell you what, though, like if DC does get this wrong, <laughs> man, they gonna have hell on their hands. And the next thing they, they do, they gonna have to like just blow us out of the water. Because yeah. I think after this Justice League thing, a lot of people is just going to get burned. It's, it's like, if this is a piece of shit, man, DC is going to have to recover, like, hard. Like, yeah. people are just going to be like, fuck it. Well, fuck it. <laughs> again, so, I still think they can do it. Again, like, we've seen time and time again in a bunch of movies where they have a bunch of characters that they don't necessarily have to have their own movies for, but they have been able to develop over the course of the movie and make it work. Like, Cyborg and Flash could be, like, almost like they're, you know, buddies you know, and develop through each other. We already have most of the other, you know, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, all that stuff already done. Like, yeah. this could work. Biggest gripe with it is it's just like everything that they've set up flowing into this, it's not going to be a smooth landing. That's all I'm saying. Like, from watching yeah. this trailer, it's like, it, it's just they're not like going with everything that they've set up. Like, e like you got to be committed to it for it to work. And I, I hope they can, but it's just, I don't know. I'm starting you, to see, like, the tearing marks on the side. Well, even, you like, know, Anthony, like, when you see... Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know if you... No, want to... just want to just make a quick dimension, because I thought this would be funny. You know it would be weird, Twist of Fate? What if, actually, okay. Infinity Wars actually comes out, and that shit is bad, and Justice League is actually better? You <laughs> shut your <laughs> whore mouth! <laughs> yeah, there it is! <laughs> like, oh, no, no Marvel fan would ever admit that, because they're fucking fanboys. Oh, hey, oh yeah, they still think Guardians of the I could kiss you right now. They still think Guardians of the Galaxy. Cut out your movie. fucking tongue, bro. That's what I would do. Damn. Oh, scissors. Oh, because we're drunks. Oh, sorry. Goddamn. They're, they're, they're actually safety scissors.